America Revival Rally is going on right now in Arizona. Joining me now to discuss is Florida Congressman Matt Gates. Congressman, it is always fantastic to have you here. Look, I, I want to jump into this right away. Before we get to the rally, before we get to the audit, uh, you and your colleague Joel Greenberg have been in the spotlight under some allegations, which you say are rooted in extortion. Greenberg pleaded guilty on Monday, and here's where my concern is. This, this same FBI fabricated a conspiracy to spy on the Trump campaign in 2016. This same FBI, according to folks like Stone and Flynn, coerced them to lie about President Trump in exchange for leniency. The same FBI knew Hillary Clinton broke the law with her homebrew server but took no action, even though the server was hacked by foreign nations. The same FBI called the attempted assassination of GOP lawmakers, your colleagues on a baseball field, they call it a suicide by cop. The same FBI raids Rudy Giuliani's home while Hunter Biden's walking around free. Congressman, I'm concerned over a double standard. I'm concerned over unequal treatment under the law. I'm concerned that justice is predicated on what political party you belong to. Would you address those concerns in the context of the accusations leveled against you? Chris, I think you are right to be concerned based on the things you have seen regarding the extent to which politics has entered the FBI and the Department of Justice on the matters that you've discussed. I'm not too worried about Joel Greenberg. Joel Greenberg is literally sitting in jail right now because he originally accused someone who was innocent of having had a relationship with a minor. That wasn't true. It was just a false thing that Joel Greenberg had said, and that's ended him in quite a bit of trouble. But I'm not focused on scandal. I'm focused on socialism and what it's doing to our country. That's why I'm here in Arizona with Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. We're going to have about a thousand patriots behind us supporting the Arizona audit and our ongoing efforts for election integrity. And I'm not going to let the process be the punishment. What I remember from a lot of the circumstances you described in your question to me is that they were always trying to get Trump to focus on something other than the well-being of our country and our people. But he made America great again anyway. And so I'm going to focus on serving my constituents, fighting for election integrity, and it's my expectation the truth will prevail. Well, let me expand on that because a Michigan judge has found that Jocelyn Benson, the Secretary of State of Michigan, violated Michigan's election law in 2020. Arizona, as you mentioned, under an extensive audit there in Maricopa County. There are three investigations going on right now in Georgia, and now we learn a complete audit may be unfolding there. How crucial is it in your mind for election integrity that those who broke election laws are brought to justice? No, this is not about the past. This is about the future. We'll never have an opportunity to govern again, to ensure that we trust our people, not government, that we trust markets, not bureaucrats, if Democrats are able to launder ballots. That's what Stacey Abrams perfected in Georgia. That's what others were working on around the country, funded by the likes of George Soros. And so the work we're doing here in Arizona is really a launch pad to other states like Michigan, like specifically Pennsylvania. People forget. The 2020 election occurred under extraordinary circumstances. Never before in America's history have we allowed the mailbox to defeat the ballot box. Donald Trump won a huge victory among people who actually showed up somewhere to vote. But then when ballots got detached from an actual identity that was verifiable, well, then Joe Biden saw the tally go his way. So this is just the beginning. And it's about ensuring that we can trust our elections in 2022 and going forward. No, and I, I completely concur. And accounting must happen so that Democrat, Republican, conservative, liberal, we all can, can rely on the outcome in the future. On Monday, we had an exclusive interview with a man by the name of Lieutenant Colonel Matthew Lomayer. He was relieved of his duties because he was exposing Marxism infiltrating the United States military. Watch. And so these videos that we've had to watch uh, here at our base uh, teach just that, that uh, certain groups are evil or are oppressors, which is uh, specifically rooted in Marxism, uh, based on the color of their skin or any number of other affiliations that they have, or as critical race theorists might define it, intersectionalities. And that's simply unacceptable. Uh, Marxism is anti-American, and we spent a great deal of 
treasures and blood and iron during the last half a century combating that very ideology. Congressman, your political opponents on the other side of the aisle, they always talk about protecting whistleblowers. Well, there one sits. Will the Republican Party protect this whistleblower who is exposing a threat to the United States of America, Marxism under the guise of critical race theory in the United States military? I serve on the Armed Services Committee, and we are going to put tremendous pressure on Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin as a consequence of this decision. Matthew Lohmeyer is a patriot. He did not deserve this retaliatory demotion. And you know what? He was punished because he is correct. Marxism is evil. He presented scholarship on it. And critical race theory is in service of cultural Marxism. Critical race theory teaches our service members and our students in schools to hate one another. It should not be in our military. It should not be in our education system. It should not be in our country. But you know why this is happening, Chris? If you look at who the Biden administration has put at the Pentagon, it's a bunch of social justice warriors. There's a man named Bishop Garrison who literally said there's no way to have any nuance in judgment of Trump supporters. Everyone has to be deemed an intractable racist and a threat to national security. That man, Bishop Garrison, right now is a senior advisor to the Secretary of Defense on these issues of oh. extremism military, it seems like patriotism is the extremism that they're really trying to root out. And we have to stand up for them because, by the way, the military is one of the last entities that the left has not totally taken over. They've taken over the Department of State, the Department of Justice, the FBI, the EPA, the Department of Labor. We have got to protect our military. Amen to that. Last thing, let's talk about Arizona tonight. You're holding a rally alongside Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. Why are you there and what's the overall message? Uh, we are here to stand with the Arizona Senate in their election integrity efforts, and we are here to call out the Biden Justice Department. A lot of people don't know this, Chris, but the Biden DOJ is actually sending threats to people in Arizona just because they want to conduct an audit and find out what happened. And the official at the Biden Justice Department doing that is Dr. Pamela Carlin, the impeachment witness that was so pardon or partisan, she made fun of Barron Trump's name. That's who we're dealing with. That's what we're here to call out. But there are patriots working every day to get the truth, and we stand in solidarity with them. Well, give our best to Marjorie Taylor Greene, the congresswoman there. And, sir, appreciate your efforts and the time on The Chris Salcedo Show, as always. Always great being with you, Chris. Thanks for having me.